States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. City of Romulus City Council regular meeting agenda for Monday, September 5th, 2017. Roll will show that all members are present with the exception of Mayor, um, excuse me, Mayor Pro Tem, John Barden and Councilwoman Sylvia Makowski. He's excused. Yeah. Yeah, excused. Thank you. Number one is agenda, two minutes, three petitioner, four chairperson's report, five mayor's report, 6A clerk's report, 6B treasurer's report, seven public comment, eight unfinished business, nine is new business, 10 communication, and 11 is adjournment, and a motion would be in order to accept the agenda as presented. So moved. Support. Motion is by Mr. Kraut, supported by Ms. Roscoe, to uh, accept the agenda as presented. Uh, Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. And I vote yes. The motion is carried. 2A is for approval of the minutes from the regular council meeting held August 28, 2017. So move for August 28, 2017. Support. Motion is by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Abdo, to approve the minutes of uh, the regular meeting held August 28, 2017. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Um, Mr. Kraft? Yes. Ms. Rasko? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion is carried. B is approval of the minutes from the special meeting held Monday, August 28, 2017. It was an open session and it was uh, the city quarterly investment report. So move for approval of the minutes of the special meeting held August 28th. Report. Motion is by Ms. Abdo to and supported by Ms. Roscoe to approve the minutes from the special meeting held August 28, 2017 uh, for the city quarterly investment report. Mrs. Abdo? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. <coughs> Mr. Kraut? Yes. And I vote yes. The motion is carried. There are no petitioners this evening, so that takes us to number four, the chairperson's report. Um, I have no chairman's uh, report this afternoon, but uh, Ms. Sabdo has uh, a motion. Yes, I'd like to ask for a memorial resolution, please, uh, for Patty Ann Theed Bosco, Basho, Busho, it's pronounced it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, Patty died August 9th. She was a 1976 graduate of Romulus High School. Her family had been lifelong residents. She's a sister of John Theed, who's Worked here for 30 years. Four. Thank you. The motion is by Ms. Sabdo, supported by Mr. Kraut, for a memorial resolution for Patty Ann. And would you pronounce her last name again? It's Bushel. Thank you. Ms. Sabdo? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Um, Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Roscoe? Yes. Motion, is, and I vote yes, motion is carried. Thank you. That would c conclude the chairperson's report. I'll make a motion to accept the chairperson's report. So much for support. Motion is by Roscoe, supported by Abdo, to accept the chairperson's <coughs> report. Um, Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Mrs. Abdo? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion is carried. Thank you. Five is the mayor's report. Good evening, City Council, Treasurer, Deputy Clerk, and audience. 
Uh, quote I bought, brought tonight ties into the Labor Day holiday and it's short and sweet. Uh, without labor, nothing prospers, and that's very true. Um, with that, I wanted to uh, you know, also just give a special thanks to those who uh, didn't get the day off. You know, um, police, fire, military, I know here with the airport, operations don't stop. So I know a lot of individuals have uh, jobs and careers that don't allow them to have a day off. So thanks for all that you do. Um, the other message, obviously, it's right after the Labor Day. Kids are back to schools. Romulus schools are open. Um, I ask that, uh, as always, we just be respectful, especially in the neighborhoods with buses out and bus stops and kids learning new routes to school and new bus stops, that, uh, both for drivers and kids and parents, that everybody is extra careful with that. And welcome back to the Romulus Community Schools for our youngsters. Um, we do have a lot going on as far as uh, in the community, so I have a short video clip to share with you if we could do that and update on some events. Hi everyone, here's what's coming up around Romulus. The Romulus Farmer's Market continues on Wednesdays at the Historical Park from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Toddler Storytime at the Library is every Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. A new Archery League also continues on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. at the Range at Elmer Johnson Park. The library is hosting a family movie night at 6 p.m. tomorrow, Wednesday the 6th. The mayor would like to invite the community to City Hall every first Thursday for an open community prayer at 8.45 a.m. Anyone is welcome and can meet in the lobby. The next prayer is this Thursday the 7th. Reminder that waste management curbside rubbish removal will have a one-day delay today through Friday due to the Labor Day holiday. The library's second Monday book club will be September 11th at 7 p.m. at the library. And we are now accepting entries into the third annual Downtown Scarecrow Contest. The deadline to enter your scarecrow is September 29th. For application and rules, please visit RomulusGov.com scarecrows. And get ready, the 20th anniversary Romulus Pumpkin Festival is just one week away. The weekend kicks off with the Romulus Rotary Parade of Lights on Friday, September 15th at 8 p.m. The festival fun continues all weekend. To see a complete list of events or find out more, visit RomulusGov.com slash pumpkinfestival or Facebook.com slash downtownromulus. Stay tuned for more details on this and any of our other events by visiting our website RomulusGov.com or like the City of Romulus page on Facebook. Thanks and have a great week, everybody. Thank you, Jazz. Uh, as we said, a lot going on. Um, Madam Chairman, I did want to also mention, you know, um, Councilwoman Mikowski is out tonight. Um, she has a celebration. They have a new young granddaughter, Ellie. We want to welcome uh, to Romulus. Uh, so welcome uh, to the Mikowski family. Her uh, daughter-in-law is, is, has some health issues, so Sylvia is taking care of family tonight. So Sylvia, I uh, hope everything goes well, and congratulations on Ellie. Um, have just a few items of business tonight under my report, so we'll start off with item number A. And uh, we're excited about this one uh, that you've all heard about. This is a recommendation that came through Lynn Conway, Purchasing Director, Maria Lambert, DDA Director, and CDBG uh, Coordinator, Marcus McNamara from OHM. And what you have before you is a request to concur with the administration and award ITB uh, bid 17 18 02 to the lowest and most responsive and responsible bidder, uh, Nagel Paving Company, for the construction uh, of a 13,500 square foot asphalt parking lot with concrete curb, concrete sidewalks, and bioretention areas at 35 255 Goddard. Uh, total amounts $216,470. Uh, those funds have been verified, uh, portion from 2016 uh, CDBG grants, expense account, uh, and uh, you can see the other account number that's listed. So moved, uh, Mr. Chairman, for, um, for ITB 17-18-2 for the CDBG project at 35255 Goddard. Support. Question. The motion is by Mr. Wattsworth, supported by Mr. Kraut. Um, to concur with the administration and award bid ITV 17-18-02 to the lowest and most responsive and responsible bidder, which is Nagel Paving Company, 
for construction of 13,500 square foot asphalt parking lot with a concrete curb and sidewalks. And uh, the bio retention area at 35255 Goddard Road in the amount of $216,470. Do you have any discussion? Yes, yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes, Mayor, could you explain to the listening public where this money came from and that it's not coming out of our general fund? Sure, I can do that. Uh, actually, we're very excited. We work very hard for this one. Uh, Maria Lambert, Tim, myself, the whole team. This was an additional grant that we got through Wayne County, uh, so we were able to secure that. Uh, these are funds that could have gone to other communities that we went to the uh, committee uh, and the Wayne County Commission and were awarded this. So we're excited. These are new dollars. Uh, that'll help us reinvest into uh, uh, properties here. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion? Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. Um, Ms. Roscoe? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion's carried. Thank you, Council. Uh, next item is item B, and what you have is a request from Tanya Cofield, our Recreation Coordinator and Legal Counsel, and this is a request to concur with the administration and authorize the mayor and clerk to enter into the attached intergovernmental agreement with Wayne County. This is accepting the additional awarded $25,000 grant for improvements for an outdoor track adjacent to the Romulus Athletic Center. Madam Chair, I'll make that motion for the Wayne County Park Improvement Grant Award. Mrs. Jokes? Yes. I have a question. If I could, uh, I don't know if I should go to the sure, mayor, right. Tim. This is just going to be an outdoor track to run on, or is it going to be a park this, this setting? This is an or? outdoor track, and you don't have to be a RAC member to participate in this. This is behind the RAC, so it'll be open to the public, and uh, it's an improvement, 25000 that we picked up from this grant. And I don't know if there's anything additional you want to share, Jazz, or? So the uh, track is already established back behind that area behind the rack. So there is already the existing track and light system, um, but this grant will go towards uh, additional uh, exercise equipment, outdoor and other improvements for that area. We're trying to uh, make it into a bigger, nicer park. So, And I think there are plans to uh, clear out some of the brush to make it more visible for everybody So and make it a more friendly park. And would this be like a picnic area also the public can use? I mean, as far as tables and stuff? Or um, I'm sure we'll have benches out there. I don't know, if, uh, you know, maybe long term we might have a pavilion and some picnic tables out there. But for okay, right fine. now, that Thank what's you. in the proposal is Thank what you. we're expecting right now. Thank you, Jess. Yes, Ms. Sarah, Jess, I'm sorry. I need to back up. Is it part of the plan then to clear some of that brush out there? I've walked back there and it's... Yes, yeah, um, uh, our Department of Public Works is prepared to clear some of that brush along with help from the Romulus Rotary Club. Okay, so it'll make it more visible, we yes. can, not as isolated. Yeah, we know it's very closed off back there and it makes some people uncomfortable uh, and, you know, potential safety issues, so we do plan on clearing a lot of that brush out. That'd be great, thank you. Thank you, Jess. Any other discussion? Motion is by Ms. Roscoe, supported by Mr. Crouch. To concur with the administration and authorize mayor and clerk to enter in to an intergovernmental agreement with Wayne County accepting the additional awarded $25,000 grant for improvements to the outdoor track adjacent to the Ramos Athletic Center. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Mr. Kraut? Yes. Um, Ms. Abdo? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion is carried. Thank you, Council. Uh, last item is item C, and that is a uh, request that uh, came from the Library Board. And what you have before you is a request to concur with the administration, and this is to allow to move the donations that were received in the last fiscal year, 1617, uh, into the uh, donations budget for the 1718 fiscal year budget, and the amount was listed with the attached. Chair, I'll make that motion for budget amendment 17. Slash 18 7 for the library fund. Support. The uh, motion is by Roscoe, supported by Mr. Crouch, to concur with the administration and move donations received in the 17, uh, 16 17 uh, fiscal year in uh, signed fund balance to the donations budget to supplement uh, FY 17 18 purchases. Uh, is there any discussion on that? 
Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Um, Mr. Crown? Yes. Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion is carried. Thank you, Council. That concludes my report. 6A is the clerk's report, and the clerk does not have anything on the agenda this evening. And 6B is the treasurer's report. Good evening, Council, Mayor, Deputy Clerk, and audience. I just have one item on um, under my report. As you know, tax bills are out, summer tax bills. They went out July 1st. The normal due date is September 30th, which falls on a weekend. Therefore, the um, tax bills are due October 2nd. So just a reminder, because that will be here quicker than um, or sooner than we expect. But um, October 2nd is the due date. And that's it. Thank you. Seven is public comment. And this is the portion of the council meeting where the audience may address city council. If you would like to speak, please raise your hand. And when acknowledged by the chairperson, please approach the podium and state your name and address. Uh, please limit your comments to three minutes. And if there is any feedback from council, it will be given under the uh, agenda item number eight, which is unfinished business. And we do not have any written requests this evening. And we don't have any hands up either. <laughs> Next item. Okay. Eight is unfinished business. Is it jokes? Yes, Mr. Just want to remind the public we're playing bingo at the Pumpkin Festival Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All the funds that are raised go directly to the animal shelter. We're still looking for volunteers or uh, anybody who would like to donate anything that pop, water, or chips that we can um, um, sell. And all the funds go directly into the shelter. And it's it's one of, of two of, of our biggest events of the year. Thank you. Number nine is new business. Ten communication. Joke. Yes, Mr. Yeah. Crown. If you're celebrating a birthday in September, happy birthday to you and many more. Thank you. And eleven is adjournment. So moved. Support. Motion is by Mr. Wadsworth, supported by Ms. Roscoe, to adjourn the meeting. You have to be. Um, Mr. Wadsworth? Yes. Ms. Roscoe? Yes. Um, Mr. Kraut? Yes. Ms. Abdo? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion is carried. Meeting is adjourned.